so hey guys a very good day to you all in this video we will be covering a topic molecularity of elementary reactions from your maharashtra government textbook now guys when you look at your textbook there are many sub topics involved like what is elementary reactions molecularity of reaction order and molecularity of elementary reactions rate determining step and reaction intermediate and guys we will be covering all these topics in this short video okay so first of all let us understand what are complex reactions okay now to understand complex reactions let us consider an example now in this reaction this reaction doesn't take place directly okay so this reaction that you can see over here does not take place directly instead this reaction occurs in two steps in step number 1 what happens is that one more mole out of this two moles of NO2Cl will get dissociated into one mole of NO2 and will give us one mole of monoatomic chlorine gas and in the second step what happens is that the remaining one mole of NO2Cl is going to react with this one mole of Cl as you can see over here and it will give us one NO2 plus one Cl2 now obviously if you add this step number 1 and step number 2 you are obviously going to get this overall reaction as you can see over here now what i want to tell you all is that this reaction occurs in more than one step as you can see over here there is there are two steps involved so any reaction that involves more than one step are called as complex reactions so i hope that you are clear with the term what is complex reactions that is more important than understanding the reaction okay so after understanding complex reactions you might have observed one thing over here if you observe this chlorine gas can you see over here this chlorine gas is produced in the first step okay as you can see over here it is produced in the step number 1 but in step number 2 it gets consumed as you can see over here it is getting reacted which means that it is getting consumed to help us form the products so here this chlorine gas is called as the reaction intermediate so any product which appears in one step and gets consumed in another step is called as a reaction intermediate clear with this guys now moving on let us understand what are elementary reactions to understand this we again we are going to consider an example okay now in this equation what happens is that there are no steps involved there are no multiple steps involved okay there are no further simpler steps but this this reaction itself is a single step so this reaction occurs in a single step okay so this reaction occurs in a single step therefore this kind of reactions are called as elementary reactions the another example is One mole of CH two H five I gives us one mole of CH two H four plus one mole of H I. So guys, finally guys, can I say that elementary reactions occur in single step? So all those reactions which occur in single step are called as your elementary reactions. Now moving on, guys, let us understand what is molecularity of reaction. So that so the simple definition of this is. total number of reactant molecules involved in a reaction is called as your molecularity of reaction so if you what you need to do you need to just count the total number of molecules of the reactants present in a reaction and that will be equals to your molecularity let us understand this with with the help of an example now here as you can see over here one molecule of o3 reacts with one molecule of O. As you can see over here, one molecule of O3 reacts with one molecule of O. So, so here this one plus one becomes two. So, therefore, the molecularity of reaction is nothing but equals to two. So, you just need to ca count the number of molecules of reactants present. In another uh, equ equation, as you can see over here, there are two moles of reactants present. Okay, therefore, the molecularity of reaction becomes two. guys you do not have to count the number of molecules of products you only have to count the number of molecules of reactants and that is your molecularity now moving on guys let us consider our uh, reaction that we a complex reaction that we have done just now now guys here 
as I mentioned earlier, this reaction takes place in two steps. So if someone tells you to calculate uh, the rate of the reaction, so which step are you going to consider? Whether you will consider the first step or whether you will consider the second step. Now, here there is a confusion that is being created. So whenever you want to calculate the rate of the reaction, you always have to consider the slowest step. And here the first and only in this reaction, guys, the, the slowest step can vary for other reactions. But in this reaction, the first step is your slowest step step okay only in this reaction it may be it may be different for other reactions but here for this reaction the first step is your slowest step therefore we consider the slowest step to determine the rate of the reaction so whenever you have to calculate the rate of the reaction you are going to calculate the rate of the reaction with respect to this first step which is nothing but the slowest step in this case so guys, I hope that you have liked this video and if you like this video, then please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and go check out my channel where I uploaded physics and chemistry videos. They might be helpful for you. And guys, thank you for watching this video.